Okay, so to integrate this, right, we've got to be careful here because you've got 3 over x to the power 4, right? And when you've got the x term on the bottom, you can't just integrate this straight away. So I'm going to just rewrite this, okay? So I'm happy with the first three terms here, very straightforward. But what I'll do is I'll take that x to the 4 up, okay? And I just take it up. And if I take it up, don't forget, you've just got to change it to a minus 4 then. Okay, you've got to change it to a negative power, okay? And then I can integrate it, right? So... Um, remember the rules, you add 1 to the power, so that becomes 5, and divide by that new power. Same here, add 1 to that, so you get a 3, divide by that new power. Now there's no term there, there's no x term, but that'll be like x to the power 0. So if I add 1 to it, it becomes x to the power 1 over 1. And then here then, add 1 to it. Well, if I add 1 to minus 4, I get minus 3, divide by that. So this becomes 10 over 5 is 2. 24 over 3 is 8, minus 2x there, and then because there's a minus 3 there, that will be changed to a minus, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I get that, and don't forget to put a plus c at the end, right? If you don't put a plus c, you will lose a, a mark, right? So put that there at the end, and what, that's worth 5 marks. Okay, um, part b, now with part b, right, now they put limits in there, so with limits, just like the previous one, we're going to expect a numerical answer. So, um, you integrate as normal, but this time you put a box here, okay? And here, you know, you're going to add 1 to that power. So, you comes x to 4, divide by that new power. Add 1 to this power. So, you get 3, divide by that new power, 3. And put in then the limits, 2, 1. So, if you remember then with the limits, okay? When you've got limits, you don't need to put a plus C. So it's not needed. So we put 2 in there. Okay. Um, so you've got 12 times 2 to the power 4 over 4. Okay. Now I could have simplified that, couldn't I, to become 3. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and then 6 over 3, of course, is 2. So maybe I'll do that there. Um, and then put 2 in there. So 2 cubed. Take away then. Let's put the, put the 1 in. So we've got 12 over 4. 1 to the power 4, and 6 over 3, or 2, wasn't it? Um, 1 cubed. Okay, so I type that into my calculator. Um, so I've got 12. Well, remember 12 over 4 was 3. Let's just rewrite that. So 3, 2 to the power 4. 3 is 1 to the power 4 plus 2. Makes sense to do that, doesn't it? So 3 to the power 4 plus 2, 2 cubed. Take away then, open bracket. So you put the upper limit in, the lower limit in, take them away. So 1, I don't need to put power 4 there because it's just still going to be 1. And I get out 59.